Meet us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and Google+. Hey guys, this is Phil from UnderCage.com and this is LG Wine Smart, their second flip phone with the Android built in. This is a successor to the LG Wine Smart and um, the LG Wine Smart is a clear target. Uh, it's targeted towards the elderly population. And this Ice Cream Smart is to the young adults or the younger generation, like the middle schoolers or high schoolers, uh, that does not need a whole lot of functions but needs some kind of restriction. I'm pretty sure that they feel more comfortable with the touchscreen keyboard rather than the flip, uh, rather than the three by nine keys, but um, there is a reason why they chose the flip as the um, younger generation's phones. All right, uh, nothing is on the front side hold for that little LED over here. It has um, Ice Cream Smart engraving. The Wine Smart has another Wine Smart engraving, so I guess LG likes to tell people what their models are called. Aside from that, there's nothing on the uh, front side. I always hope that the LG or any other manufacturer actually to put a little screen that actually at least tells time or notification little icons, but they didn't. Uh, neither on the front or back there is anything other than a little LED over here that tells you anything happening inside the phone. Uh, on the right there is an earphone jack. Um, this is not exactly my favorite position of the earphone jack on the flip phones. Motorola phones years ago had um, earphone jack on the bottom and that was actually my favorite. Uh, with the right earphone jack you actually have to use the L-shaped earphones. Those are not exactly popular these days so you will have to find yourself or you have to get a converter to comfortably use your earphones on the Ice Cream Smart. There's a little strap hole, you haven't seen them in years except for Sony ones. And there's a hinge of course and the volume rocker, the micro USB port, camera, speaker and this loudspeaker is actually supposed to be called a one watt speaker and uh, it's actually that loud. Um, it's not exactly stunningly loud in a good quality way but as in a volume wise it's loud enough. There's a Kara logo, Kara is everywhere, LG logo and that's pretty much it. You can detach the battery cover and gain access to the micro SD card slot or the micro SIM card slot beneath the battery. The battery is replaceable and gives you a capacity of 1700 milliamps that's um, not quite a lot, but it has a small screen, so it should be okay. And we can get the battery cover installed back. And it might seem like a small phone because it's a flip phone, but it actually is not. It's as big as the iPhone 5, and uh, when opened, when the flip is opened, it's definitely a lot bigger and taller than the iPhone 5. That gives you a bit of a problem, but um, we'll get to that very soon. So opening up the flip, you get to see the launcher. This uh, proprietary launcher is called the Easy Home. There's a standard LG Home, or you can even replace it by the other launchers. So basics over here is the same with any other flip phones that we used to have years ago. Before we get onto that, let's get into the basics of the inner flip part. There's a receiver and the front facing camera and the sensor, the proximity sensor over here. There is no uh, ambient sensor, you'll have to change your brightness manually. If you don't like to do that, there is an automatic mode that you have to set a time and at the night time that you have set, it's gonna get brighter, uh, darker or brighter, whatever you choose to. So aside from that, it's manual. And um, touchscreen enabled display, of course, the LG logo. The LG logo has changed slightly um, as we have dealt with the G Flex 2. They, um, the, logo is, the logo design is the same, but the font has got changed, so if you are uh, if you are point enough to notice the change, then there's your change. Aside from that, there is a back home and the menu key engraved in Korean letter, uh, Korean alpha, and um, text message, the camera key, and um, this also works as a switch to change between uh, Korean alpha and the Roman office, and the Kakao Top messenger key, the shortcut, you can change that to any, any other apps that you have, and the phone book, talk and clear, and um, of course the 12 keys over here for your input. Uh, for numbers you can just start punching in the numbers and it's gonna pop up and you can just go to home, home to get to the main screen. This is a home and this is an end. The difference between that is home just takes you home and the end key actually kills out the application. There are a few other ways to kill the application. The, one of the other is to close your flip and um, Aside from that, it's basically the same Android. All right, so this is their proprietary launcher. You can tap on that menu key to get to the app launcher over here. And you can just scroll between the apps or you can use the touch screen to navigate between the apps. The five-way navigation key over here does most of the job and um, that's how you do that. So 
You can just use another launcher. I actually have another launcher installed, uh, Nova Launcher. So let me show you how it's like with the third-party launcher. Nova, Nova, here we go. So it's, it's not visible enough, but the um, little icons over here tell you which button that you're pressing. So you can use that. Software-wise, it's got an Android 4.4 uh, with the um, no further updates planned. So um, they're going to release the bug fixes and the minor updates, minor bug patches, but um, it's not going to get a lollipop upgrade or any other future upgrades. So keep in mind of uh, the lack of software update that they have promised already. Uh, there we go, software information, Android 4.4.2. So that's it. Uh, one of the international uh, viewers of our channel will be wondering uh, if the keypad is how nice of the keypad is. I actually got some feedback from the previous Wine Smart reviews, and here it is. So, if you want to type messages, so um, you can just start typing in hello over here. You might notice that I have been punching a lot of the keys lately. Uh, that's because the Korean version, and this is only launched in Korea, does not have the T9 support. That means you'll have to use the classic way of punching the punching again the same numbers until you reach the letter that you want. Do you remember how, you know, in the old days without the T9 support, you would have to punch the keys again and again, and that's how it is in the, wine, uh, the Ice Cream Smart and in the Wine Smart as well. This is probably because the Wine Smart or the Ice Cream Smart was not launched in any uh, English-speaking or the Latin-based um, language-speaking countries, so um, this might get fixed if this it's ever launched in any other countries, but um, as as far as we know, this is only launched in Korea, and they don't have any plans to launch anywhere else. So you might want to use a third-party keyboard uh, that does not work mostly, or build one of your own. So that's one important factor that you have to know uh, for people anywhere else in Korea. All right. Aside from that, it's got a Snapdragon 400 quad-core processor, a gigabyte of RAM, and eight gigabytes of storage, and that's a welcome change since the Wine Smart only had a four gigabytes of storage, and that was such a bummer that only allowed us a really small amount of the space that we could install our apps and um, here they fixed it. Of course you can install an uh, additional micro SD card and install your apps on there. Um, so that's a little less problem. The few things that they had added from the Wine Smart to the Ice Cream Smart is the app on flip close. Uh, the Wine Smart killed the apps whenever the flip was closed. And now this allows to either keep the app open or kill the app um, so you can choose between them. And also the Kakao Talk key over here, the yellow blinky Kakao Talk key is customizable. So you can s just simply change that to any other apps that you can uh, you have installed on your phone. So that's a very, very welcome change. We're not sure if they're gonna bring to the Wine Smart. Uh, apparently the Taiwanese version of the Wine Smart has the changeable Kakao Talk key. So uh, we guess the international model is gonna have this different uh, aspect on that. All right, so this is basically a, a standard LG phone, but in a very special uh, design. So do we like it is the question. Um, all right, to be honest, this was a lot of a hassle to be typing on the keypad. You know, we got too used to the touch screens and of course you can touch on this, uh, type on the touch screen on this guy as well, but um, that's not exactly this is how it meant to be. And plus, not all the functions work by the navi five way navigation key. So we often had to reach this touch screen to control the apps and we simply couldn't reach out to the app because the phone is too tall. We almost felt easier to just flip it this way and touch it that way. So if you have a specific reason to get a flip phone, like your parents cannot um, deal nicely with the touch screen or your kids have too uh, kids are too obsessed with the touchscreen phones, then you might have a reason. You know, this is a flip phone and this is really tricky to use as a normal touch, uh, normal smartphone, but it still does its job. So unless you have those reasons, we strongly suggest you to get a standard touchscreen phones. Now every all the apps are built for the touchscreen and Apple phones. There are almost no apps other than the apps that LG have built themselves that support the 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 nine, 10, uh, the 12 keys natively. So aside from those reasons, just save your time and get used to the touchscreen if you hadn't yet, unless there is a super urgent reason. So that was LG Ice Cream Smart and stay tuned. We're gonna get back with other reviews very soon.